Hi guys, it's me Kalika. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a full phase of first impressions. So basically what you see on my face is all brand new products. The lip is a little bit cheeky, but you'll see that in the video. I feel like it turned out nice. So far so good. We'll see what happens, but I do like it. Lips are very pink, but I love this lip product. I went real simple with the eyes because I didn't have a new eyeshadow to try. But yeah, if you like these videos, give it a thumbs up and we'll jump into the next clip where I'm applying everything. Thanks. Hi guys, I wanted to film a full face of first impressions today. I got a bunch of new products and I wanted to try them all, so I thought I would film just like a full face of first impressions. There's obviously, I don't have a full, full face, so I'll use some different products, but I'll tell you which products are new and which ones I might literally be using just for the second time. So trying them a different way as well. First thing I got was two primers. So I got the Milk Hydro Grip Primer which I want to try. And I also got a sample of the Tarte Poreless Primer. There we go. So I'm going to start with the Tarte Poreless Primer. I'm going to try this on my textured areas. So I don't know if you can see all the texture I have through here and through here. So I'm just going to slightly rub that over. So I'm only going to use this one on half of my face just to see what sort of difference it makes so I can see the difference. So I'm just blending that in. I might use, the girl in the shop said she uses a beauty blender to apply. This is the Emco Beauty sponge. Right, next I'm going to take the Milk Hydro Hydro Grip Primer and I'm just going to apply this all over. Well, not all over, but. Kind of goes white on the skin. And then you blend it in to the skin like it goes white. It's definitely tacky. I really like the way that actually feels on the skin. It's weird how it kind of got this like white hue to it, but then kind of calmed down once you spread it in. I'm going to take the Milani Conceal and Perfect today, but I'm going to be, I've only worn this once and it didn't set down so I'm going to be setting it with a powder that I've only also used once just for setting under the eye. Just going to use the sponge on this side of my face and then I'll use a brush on the other side. A brush has no branding on it so that was two pumps as well by the way gives a nice I would say medium coverage but I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly that this one is buildable So this one does apply nicely with a brush or a sponge. You can choose with this foundation. Next I'm going to go in with the 
This is new, the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. I use an eye primer under my eyes as well as above. And then I got a sample of the Lancome All Over Cover Concealer. This is their new one. Um... And I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that on the flowered contoured concealer brush. Considering I haven't color corrected at all, it looks like a nice color. Let's go in and set that with the under eye area with a bit of the flower. I'm filming in natural lighting. Let's try that. Let's go down again try that so I'm going to go in with a tiny bit so tap it in and tap off all the excess make the face stretch out the lines okay then I'm going to set the rest of my face with literally what is left in here but like I said always tapping off the excess Just be careful with the Flower Beauty, sorry, I used the Bedellium Tools 9.5 at 9 setting brush. With the Flower Beauty product, when you get it, it's obviously got that sticky stuff over it. So I turned it upside, like the container upside down with the lid on, tapped it a few times to get some product out. And look how much product came out. So just be careful of that. It's definitely set it down. We'll see how it feels in like, you know, when I get to the end. Feel like it's definitely mattified the foundation. All right, now I've brought my lips and eyebrows back to life a little bit. Let's go in with the next first product. I got these for my birthday. My sister got me a voucher for Sephora. So I got the Huda Beauty Tan Tour color in Fair. So it looks quite dark for a fair, but let's just give it a go, hey? I've just got a, a what's this, the Pro Chisel Brush C472 by Crown Brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. This is a cream to powder bronzer slash contour powder. That is way too much there. <laughs> All right, so a little goes a long way. Like I barely tapped my brush into that. That's better. I'm not one of those people that like that real harsh contoured detail I have quite high cheekbones as it is so try they also say you can use this under your foundation so I want to try that as well 
I like that. It's really subtle. Like the only other cream bronzers and stuff I have is the Chanel. I have another one too. Both of them I don't like. I can't wear. They're too, too much for me. So I feel like that's really subtle and looks amazing. Okay, love that. Love, 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 love that. If you have any other cream contours you recommend, let me know because I'm all about trying to slim down this face and hide this double chin. Oh, no. Oh, my God, look what I just did. I took the biggest chunk out of the corner and I don't know what on. Yeah, I found it. It's on my finger. Nice. Okay, the lid could be easier to get on. Next, I got the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in Bliss. So, this one looks really cute. I'm going to be very cautious with how much I apply. I don't think I've ever used like a liquid blush like this. I think to me that's too, too much, but I've never been a big blush girl. So I'm just going to jump over it with my sponge. Good old Mary Lou. We all know my holy grail is the Aqua Kevin Aquan Brunette, the precise brow pencil. Like I love, love, love this one. I've used it for years. But I need to find more affordable. So I have the Essence Super Last 24 Hour Pencil. I have the Essence Brow Pen. This is, you know, the ones with the multiple tips. I have the Tiny Tip Precise Brow Pen. And I also have the Essence Make Me Brow Gel Mascara. So, let's try these pens on my hand. So, first, the multi-tip. Okay, I feel like I have to put a lot of pressure to get that to show up. I'm going to try all of these on my brows. This is the fine tip. Okay, same sort of thing. Feeling like I have to put a bit of pressure on that to get it to show up the pencil pencil feels pretty average not it's quite soft not not too soft but not too hard <coughs> i think we'll do the pencil last so let's go in with the multi tip so we're going to go in So definitely happening to apply a lot of pressure which I'm not used to doing when I'm doing my brows. Not a fan of that one. Let's try the single tip, try get some more defined strokes. Not enough or it's too much what do you guys think tell me your favorite affordable brow product <laughs> tell me your favorite affordable brow products I'm gonna go in with the pencil just fill in any bits that I feel like a 
This is like brow product overkill. I don't mind this one. Good. I think it was like four bucks or five bucks. So I don't mind that one. Let's see if this actually colours the hairs. Okay, I do like this, but I don't know if you can see above my brow, but you can see where it's overshot my brows. So, touch that. I think it's good, you just need to be gentle with this one. Okay, okay, for eyeshadow, I'm going to be real simple and I'm going to go in with good old MAC Woodwink, which is at this one here. Just gonna take that all over. I don't know if you can see, but that eyeshadow primer it has creased. It's already. I did set that in place with powder as well, and it's creased. just going to do some mascara because the last product I have is a lip color and the lip color I have kind of cheated the lip color is a bit of a cheat I have used the formula before and I absolutely loved it so I am treating myself to a new color okay so next is not a first time using the product but i brought another color this is the revlon color stay satin ink and i purchased the mauve darling shade i have tried this formula and I love it like i mean i love this formula i got eight hours of wear out of it before so I have extremely dry skin and extremely dry lips I was on Roaccutane for a long time um so I carry lip balm it's a running joke with everybody they know I have lip balm all the time I wore this for eight hours before I felt the need to put lip balm on which is incredible for me which is incredible for me I could have put another layer of this on but i didn't have it with me so i wanted to try this mauve darling color because this is just like my type of color i don't use a lip liner or anything so i also like lip products that i only need to put a thin layer on i don't like thick products I'm loving this. So I also have um, Speak Up. I'll swatch them on my hand. I love this color too. So this one here is Speak Up. This one is definitely more pink, but I actually love both of them. And this one is Mauve Darling. So more pinky, more neutral. So obviously this one's the more pinky Mauve Darling. This one I can already vouch for. I know I love it. I get eight hours of wear comfortably before the need to do anything with it. And as I've said before, I'm a smoker and it lasted eight hours. So for any of us, we know what it's like trying to find a lip product that lasts on our lips when we're constantly putting something between them. So absolutely love this one. Can already vouch for this one. And I think their retail is $27. I've brought... I brought both of these from Chemist Warehouse on sale for 50% off for $13.49. Australian drugstore or chemist 
uh, skincare is so expensive, but we are lucky enough that we do have sales regularly. I keep a list on my phone of drugstore products I want to try, and I put them in my phone. When I see a product that's on, like a brand that's on sale half price, I go to my list, see what's on my list so that I can buy it. So I absolutely love both of these. And it was actually this, the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon that made me, I also love this product for its longevity. So it had ink in it. I used to constantly, and you cannot buy them anymore. Um, I used to constantly buy the CoverGirl Outlast Lip Stains. And you can't buy these anymore and mine are basically all gone. So I'm on the hunt for something that's long lasting like that. And I saw these originally. I have these in two colours as well. These last amazingly as well. I'd, I'd say maybe six to seven hours of wear without touch up. And like I said, this was easily eight hours of wear without touch up. So this one is a definite yes from me. The, I don't know if you can see, but my under eyes are already creased and I've just finished application. So the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer is a definite no from me. I love the Huda and the Rare Beauty. They both went on the skin really nice. Less is more. You can always add more, but you can't take it away. You, as you know, seen, I had to try going with the Beauty Blender to diffuse it. So definitely less is more, but they are both amazing. This one was like 30 something and this one was 40 something. So that's incredible. What else did I use? Oh, the concealer. Color match looks good. But like I said, it's creased. So I'll have to try this one again. The Tarte Poreless Primer. I can't say I see a huge difference. I'll give it another go tomorrow. I'm not 100% sold on this one yet. Elf Products. Yes for the brow. Mascara. Yes for the pencil. The Too Sharpie style. Nah. Uh, too much work, push too hard, don't push hard enough, too much work. So there are no. Um, the Milk Primer, yep, I love the way that has sat down on my skin. And now this is all melted into my skin. I do feel like this made a great combo. The three did make a great combo. I look dewy, I look healthy and glowy without looking like I'm glittering and I would say medium coverage I'm sure you could build this up more but I'm going to go with medium coverage as you can see my bruise is still popping through pimples seem to be well hidden but yeah so love this I like this for an everyday concealer if you can get that on sale and this is a nice setting powder I it hasn't caked me up at all I think that is it. I hope you enjoyed these full face first product videos. And I think that's all for me. Leave any comments you have below. Please like this video. I'd really appreciate it. Um, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.